Hi friends, welcome back to another ukulele tutorial. Save the Last Dance for Me was originally recorded in 1960 by the Drifters. The song has a fast tempo and it's so much fun to play, it makes you want to dance. In this lesson, we'll look at two ways to play this song. The first way is how to strum it using two different strumming patterns. One of the patterns has a nice triplet strum. For the second way to play this song, we'll look at how to finger pick it using two fun and fast finger picking patterns. After our lesson, I hope you'll join me for a play along where I'll play through the entire song and you can play along with me. I want to point out that I'm playing a tenor with a low G. If you have a high G on your instrument, you can follow this entire lesson. Just keep in mind that the patterns will sound a bit different on your instrument, particularly the finger picking patterns, because your fourth string is one octave higher than mine. Now let's take a look at the chords that are used in this song and how to play them. If you're already familiar with these chords, then skip ahead to our strumming patterns. Our first chord is G. I'm playing G with my index and middle finger on the second fret of strings three and one, and my ring finger on the third fret of the second string. Next we have D. I'm covering D on the second fret of strings four, three, and two with my index, middle, and ring fingers. Next we have G7. To play G7, I have my index finger on the first fret of the second string and my middle and ring fingers on the second fret of strings three and one. Next we have our C chord, which is the third fret of the first string. And finally, our D7 chord. I'm playing D7 with my index and ring fingers on the second fret of strings four and two. I'm using these two fingers because in this song we go from D to D7. And the easiest way that I have found to transition between these two chords is to place down my middle finger for D and then lift it up for D7. In the introduction of the song, when we go from C to D7, then you may find it more comfortable to use your index and middle fingers rather than index and ring fingers. Throughout this lesson, you'll find the chords, lyrics, and patterns on screen. If you'd like to download a PDF of the song sheet, you can do so from my Patreon page, along with my songbook that covers all of the songs that I've shared in my tutorials. You'll find the link down below in the video description. Now we've come to our first strumming pattern. Let's take a close look at how to play this pattern and how to apply it to our song introduction. Here's our first pattern played slowly on a G chord. The strumming here is down, down, up, up, down. Down, down, up, up, down. The rhythm is one and two and three and four and. For the second down strum, you can play an optional elongated strum. this elongated strum, I'm using my ring, middle, and index fingers one after another through all four strings. Now taking a look at our song introduction, here we have four chords, G, D, C, and D7. We're going to play this strumming pattern once on each chord that will lead us into the first verse. second strumming pattern. This one uses a triplet strum. 
let's take a close look at how to play this pattern and how to alternate between patterns one and two, playing the first verse and the first chorus. Here's our second strumming pattern, played slowly on a G chord. We're starting with a down strum, and then we have a triplet strum that consists of one down strum and two up strums. I'm playing the down strum with my index finger, and then the first up strum with my thumb, and the second up strum with my index finger. So here's how it looks to play the triplet strum. On the up strums, don't worry about catching all four strings. It's okay if you only catch the first couple of strings on the way up. After the triplet, we have one more down strum. So the entire pattern is down, down, up, up, down. Down, down, up, up, down. The rhythm of this pattern is one, two, triplet, three, four. Now taking a look at our first verse, we're starting on our G chord using our second pattern. Then we're going to play our first pattern once, and then moving into line two, we're staying on our G chord, playing our first pattern once, and then we're changing to D. We'll play our first pattern twice on D. In line three, we're staying on our D chord. We'll play our second pattern once, and then our first pattern once. In line four, we'll play our first pattern once on D, once on G, and then once on G7 to finish the verse. Here's how it looks to play through the first verse, adding in the lyrics. You can dance every dance with a guy who gives you the eye, let him hold you tight. You can smile every smile for the man who held your hand beneath the pale moonlight. For the chorus, we're going to stick with our first strumming pattern. We'll play it twice on C in the first line, twice on G in the second line, and then on line three, we'll play the pattern once on D and once on D7. When we get to the final G at the end of line three, we have two options. One option is to play our strumming pattern twice, The second option is to play the pattern once, followed by an elongated down strum. I like the second option because it helps to emphasize the end of the chorus. Now I'll play through the chorus, adding in the lyrics, starting with our G7 chord at the end of verse 1. Lesson, please give this video a thumbs up, and if you're new to my channel, then I would love for you to subscribe. Now let's look at how to play this song using two finger picking patterns. Pattern three sounds like this, and pattern four sounds like this. So when we put them together, Let's take a close look at patterns three and four, how to put them together, and how to apply them to the song. Here's our third pattern. And now played slowly on a G chord.
I'm starting by playing strings four and one together with my thumb and ring finger. Then I'm playing string three with my index finger, back to string four, then string three, then I'm going to string two with my middle finger, and finishing on strings four and three. The rhythm of this pattern is one and two and three and four and. Now let's look at pattern four. And now played slowly on a G chord. I'm starting by playing strings one and two together with my middle and ring fingers. Then I'm playing string four with my thumb, string three with my index finger, then strings one and two together, then back to string four, string three, and finishing on string two with my middle finger. The rhythm of this pattern is one and two and three and four and. Throughout the song, there are many occasions where we'll play patterns three and four back to back. Here's how this looks at a slow tempo. Now one more time at the slow tempo, adding in the count. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Now let's look at how to apply patterns three and four to our second verse. This verse is played the same way as verse one. Each of the chords is held for the same number of beats. We're starting on our G chord and we'll play pattern three one time. Then we'll play pattern four twice. This has carried us over into the second line. And now we're going to our D chord. On D, we'll play pattern three one time and then pattern four one time. This brings us to the end of line two. Now moving into line three, we're staying on our D chord. We'll play pattern three once on D, and then we'll play pattern four twice. This has carried us over into the beginning of line four. And now we'll go to our G chord and play pattern four once on G, and then once on G7. Now I'll play through the second verse, adding in the lyrics. Oh, I know that the music's fine like sparkling wine, go and have your fun. Laugh and sing, but what we're come to our second chorus, which is played the same way as the first. So applying patterns three and four, we're going to alternate between these patterns three times, starting with pattern three on our C chord, and then going to pattern four, staying on C. Moving into line two, we're going to a G chord and back to pattern three and then to pattern four. In line three, we're going to a D chord and back to pattern three one more time, and then to D7 and pattern four. 
we get to the G chord at the end of line three, we're going to play pattern four one time. And then to finish the chorus, we have two options. The first is that we can play an arpeggio through all four strings, or you can play an elongated strum. Option two is to pick the strings from four down to one. Now I'll play through the chorus, adding in the lyrics, starting from the G7 chord at the end of verse two. comes the bridge, where the melody takes on a bit of a different direction. So let's look at how to play the bridge, both strumming and finger picking. For the bridge, we're going to continue alternating between patterns three and four. So in line one, we're starting on our D chord with pattern three, and then we'll go to pattern four. This carries us into line two until we get to our G chord, where we'll go back to pattern three, and then pattern four. In line three, we're going back to D and back to pattern three, and then pattern four. And then in line four, we're going to our G chord here we're staying on pattern four, and we'll finish the bridge the same way we finish the chorus, playing pattern four one time, and then either doing an arpeggio or picking all four strings. Now I'll play through the bridge using our finger picking patterns, adding in the lyrics. Baby, don't you know I love you so? Let's look at how to play the bridge using our strumming patterns. We're starting with pattern two on our D chord in line one. Then we'll play pattern one one time on D. In line two, we're going to our G chord and we'll play pattern one twice on G. in line three, and we're moving on to our D chord. Here we'll play pattern two, followed by pattern one, and then we're moving to our G chord at the end of line four. Here we can either play pattern one twice, or we can play pattern one one time followed by an arpeggio or an elongated strum, the same way we finish the chorus using our strumming patterns. And now I'll play through the bridge using our strumming patterns. Baby, don't you know I love you so? Can't you feel it when we touch? is played the same way as the first and second chorus. And then after the third chorus comes our fourth and final chorus, which is five lines long rather than three. So let's take a look at how to play this final chorus and how to end the song. For the final chorus, we'll play lines one, two, and three through our D7 chord the same way we did in our first chorus. When we get to the end of line three, we'll play pattern one twice on our G chord. Then moving into line four, we'll play our pattern once on D, once on D7, and twice on G. In line five, 
Once again, we'll play our pattern one once on D, once on D7, and then once on G, followed by a final arpeggio or elongated strum. Here's how to sing the final three lines of the chorus using our first strumming pattern. So die, say. at how to finger pick our final chorus. Lines 1, 2, and 3 through our D7 chord are played the same way as the second chorus that we looked at earlier. When we get to the G chord at the end of line 3, we'll play pattern 3 followed by pattern 4. In line 4, we're going to our D chord We'll play pattern 3 on D, and then pattern 4 on D7. On our G chord that comes next at the end of line 4, we'll play pattern 3 followed by pattern 4. On our final line of the final chorus, we're going back to D, and pattern 3, then to pattern 4 on D7, and then we have our final G chord at the end of line 5. Here we'll play pattern 4 one time, followed by an arpeggio or finger picking all four strings. This is the same way that we ended the second chorus. Now I'll play through the final three lines of the final chorus using patterns three and four. So darling, save the last dance for me. Save the last dance for me. Save into our play along. I'm going to play through the entire song instrumental only so you can really hear how I move back and forth between the two strumming patterns and two finger picking patterns. The chords and lyrics will be on screen so you can play along with me and if you'd like you can also sing the lyrics. You may even want to dance. Five, six, seven, eight. Thank you. 
enjoyed learning these wonderful, fast strumming and finger picking patterns. Have fun practicing Save the Last Dance for me, and thanks for watching. Thank you.